Okay, next uh, we're going to do something that's called a full text index. The reason that you would use a full text index is if you're searching a text field uh, that has a lot of text of a very large table, the full text index will make that be more efficient. Uh, now this has to be done on a table that has a primary key. So let's just make sure that our table has a primary key. I'm going to right click on the employees table and then pick on uh, design view. Of course in design view we can add or change fields and we can also make a field a primary key by right clicking on it. I just right clicked on the employee ID. We're going to set set primary key there and we'll close the window. And that did save. Now to make a full text index we're going to right click on that table and we're going to say full text index and we're going to say define full text index. Now this wizard is going to come up. We'll pick on next. Uh, so it wants to know the unique index and of course uh, it is going to be the PK employees. That's fine. Uh, the primary key. That's what we just picked there. Click on next. Now it says what, what fields do you want to make the full text index from? So we're going to pick the notes field here. I know that that has a memo field. It has lots of data in there. Uh, you could pick more than one if you needed to. Click on next. Track changes. Uh, you want to pick on automatically there. Click on next. Uh, you want to give this a, a, a catalog name. And I'm going to call this one test one. All right, we'll pick on uh, next there. Uh, this is if you want to schedule the um, the actual creation of the uh, the full text index so that it happens on a regular basis. Notice how it says it's optional, so you can uh, skip that. This just reviews what you're about to do. We'll pick on finish. And it was able to make that. Click on close there. Now how do you use that in a query? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make a query out of that. And in this case we're going to say file open. And we'll use a file of course. And I have one that's called full text index. So it's a basic query. Uh, we're, you're using the database. Tells you which database that you're going to pull the data from. We're selecting the notes from the employees. Where, uh, see the where, and then you have contains, and that tells it to use the full uh, text index. So we're going to go ahead and execute that. And it, now it ran that quicker, and these, are, these would all have the word notes inside. Actually, it's looking for the word university. See this? Where contains uh, points to the full text index. We're telling us which field to look at, and then this is the criteria. So all these records have the word university in there, as we can see. So the reason that you use the full text index once again is if uh, you're looking at a large amount of uh, uh, data, many records, and you're searching a text field all the time, then that'll make that search uh, more efficient. We're going to close that 